what's happening guys, it is Eddie here and today we'll be taking a close look at the 2018 Lamborghini Aventador S4. This car contains a 6.5 liter V12 engine as you can see which produces over 750 horsepower, is all wheel drive and it does 0 to 60 in 2.8 seconds with a top speed of 217 miles per hour. Let's let that sink in for a second. Let's just take a moment. So you can see this massive intake right behind the door. Um, it is different from the standard uh, Aventador's intake. It had a piece here and it was shaped a little differently. Um, I personally like the other intake better, but this one looks really cool too. And you can see it says Aventador S. A nice little touch there on the regular Aventador's. The SV it says LP750-4 and on the LP700 it says uh, LP700-4. The front end of the Aventador S is also different. It has um, a different front bumper that is for aerodynamic purposes. Every year Lamborghini keeps redesigning and remaking Aventador models to improve the way it drives. Um, and that's what they did on this car. You can see this piece is in gloss black, but you do have the option of getting that piece in carbon fiber, which also looks really cool. So to unlock the Aventador, it's fairly simple. You press the unlock button. The lights flash and then to open the door it's actually operated electronically so you press the button the door goes right up and in fact on the Mercy Lago at the Diablo you had to push the door on this car because it has more Audi technology and it's a better quality a better made car you don't need to push it up like this you just give it a small push and it goes right up for you so you don't have to put any effort Opening the door to your $500,000 So once you get into the event door, the first thing you notice is that this interior looks straight out of the jet fighter. It's very low to the ground, and you can tell it's just a track focused car. And you can see here's the steering wheel. You have the paddle shifters. Here's the upshift paddle. That's the downshift paddle. You have some controls for the headlights here, and you have some other buttons for the gauge cluster. You have your blinker turn signals then you have gloss pieces on the steering wheel and to open the door you press this piece pull up and the door opens and on the center console you have your window button your front end lift button ESC off that's for launch control and you have the button for the hazard lights check out how cool the hazard lights look when they are here's the button for the parking sensors and you have your window button. And on the very bottom, you'll notice there's the reverse button, button to put in manual, and the park button. It's all very straightforward, very simple. Even though it's a Lamborghini and it's an Italian car, they didn't make it too complicated. They did put 100 buttons in your face, but it's still not that complicated. Now let's take a look at the passenger side. And when you get in the car, you're greeted by this nice Lamborghini script in gloss black. Um, a lot of the Aventador models have it in, uh, in chrome, but it also looks cool in black. And it's an option when you buy the car. There's something called branding package. It's where you can get the, um, the badges on the heads and the headrests and this. Now let's talk storage. This car has a very, very minimum amount of storage space. There's a little, very small glove box. We can put probably like a phone. Then there's this item here, and it actually has a USB port to make the car that much more practical. It even has a cup holder. That's very surprising in a Lamborghini like this. And the pattern on the cup holder is a bunch of hexagons. And then you have little nets here. You pay five hundred thousand dollars, and you have uh, you have nets in your car. As you can probably tell, this car is a convertible, and 
the engine is right there. So the roof is in the trunk. How do you get the roof in the trunk? Well, you have to take it off with your hands. So there's two carbon fiber pieces that are attached and then you pull two levers behind the seats and it actually takes them out. So with this car, there's decision making to the roof off that with no storage space or do you want it on with storage space? Lamborghini problems. And it's about time that we hear what the six and a half liter V12 engine sounds like because it sounds absolutely amazing. So let's go ahead and start it up. So you can see here's the window sticker for the Aventador S Roadster. You can see the full price is $541,057. Um, if you'd like to help yourself with an Aventador S Roadster, then make sure to come down to Manhattan Motor Cars because this is the car for you. I'm going to end off this video by giving a special shout out to Manhattan Motor Cars for making all these car reviews and startups possible. I'll leave their contact information and the links to their website in the description box below. If you're interested for a Lamborghini yourself, then make sure to click those links because they have pretty insane cars here.